don't we feed wild boar in a raw diet? Whether it's due to availability or novelty, feeding wild boar is unfortunately a bad idea. A Juski's disease, at least I think that's how it's supposed to be pronounced, also known as pseudorabies or mad itch, is a highly contagious DNA virus. Pigs are the only reservoir host, but it can infect cattle, sheep, goats, cats, dogs, and some wildlife, while human cases and equine cases tend to be rare. Pseudorabies occur all over the world and were once prevalent in the USA, but have been eradicated in commercialized swine since 2004, but can still be found in feral populations. In pigs, symptoms include neurological, respiratory, and reproductive symptoms. The virus can spread through nose-to-nose -nose contact with an infected pig, respiratory secretion, fomites, aka objects in contact, or the bodies of infected pigs, which include touching and feeding. The virus is freeze-resistant and is only destroyed by heat above 71 Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So to keep your pet safe, it's important to avoid putting this one protein into the bowl, but thankfully there are plenty of others. 